going on you guys so i'm about to hook up a set let you see what that process is like um so here is our gear right this here when it's parallel this is closed this is open this will allow the gear to run free right it bleeds it bleeds the the chambers of all the air so it can be moved like i said in another video you'll be fighting yourself if you're trying to couple this gear uh to your rear trailer you'll be fighting yourself it's not going to roll the way you want it to roll so obviously i tested my lights you want to hook up your airlines and then of course go and depress the emergency brakes uh, just to make sure that there's no leaks on the gear that way you can solve that problem don't raise the the landing gear on your gear until you've ensured that there's no leaks the lights are working and that obviously like the suspension here that there's no cracks it's not broken there's no illegal welds anything like that right make sure that all of that is in good working order and if it is then you're good to go make sure that you remember to plug these up so you don't get any leaks along the way right take these off take these off plug those up you can leave this here that's fine right you can leave that it's no big deal and then uh get things going right so now i'll go ahead and let you guys check this out both of my trailers are in a door okay so i had to pull them both out of the door to get those going as you see our lights are good over here I had to move a tractor. I had to move this tractor out because my my trailer, my rear trailer, there wasn't enough room to move it. Even in a yard dog, even in yard dog equipment, there was not enough room for me to get out, right? So anyway, I'm gonna use my own tractor to pull that out of that door, line it up here, disconnect from my rear trailer, connect to my lead trailer, and uh, back it in and make it happen, Captain. So what I was doing there is basically just angling my drag trailer to be slightly, slightly offset. Cause I, if, I don't know if you can see, but my, but my gear is a little bit more to the right than the rest of, uh, of my lead trailer, right? See how it's off just a little bit. So it's, it's gonna swing to my passenger side a little. So, I angled this a little bit more to the right so that I can back up mostly straight and then follow it after, you know? So, I already made sure that there's no leaks and that the lights were working and that the tires are in good shape, the suspension is, good, is in good shape. No cracks, no damages, no leakages, right? Make sure that you guys are always checking the hubs. Make sure that, you know, it's not losing any um, lubrication, okay? Because that's important. You could start a fire and <laughs> you're really screwed. Before you take off, always make sure it's not hazmat. Everything is starting to move over to uh, the handheld devices only. So that's nice. It makes it a little bit more convenient for us as drivers.
right, so I wanted to show you guys a little get out and look just to make sure because the last thing I want is to miss the kingpin, which is the pin located on the apron or the underside of said trailer. I want to keep it, make sure that it doesn't miss it. And then I end up hitting the gear, right? With the landing gear. Don't want that. That would be bad. So now I'll visually inspect and make sure that we're coupled, right? The first sign is that that arm is in position, which is all the way to the right, all the way to the right and down. If it's up here or sticking out, that's a huge no-no, huge no-no. Locking jaws are all the way around the kingpin. All right, my underbelly's good. I already inspected that before. All my cross members are good. All my and uh, moving parts are good. They're moving as they should be, which is you know the feet of the legs, and uh, you know obviously make sure that my fifth wheel was greased. So we're good, man. I ain't got no leaks, and the lights are all working. There is no compromises. You really want to make sure that you watch this here. The deck make sure that it's not coming apart because it happens i've had it before so have other drivers you know you stick around long enough it happens now we're going to connect our lines and make sure that our running lights brake lights signals clearance lights are all working on here all our dot stickers are good as you can see here the inspection is up to date we're going to take off our dummy hands Electric line is already connected. Now it's time to connect the real deal, the real stuff. The true hands, the real hands. The washers are in good shape, so that's good. But it doesn't always mean that it is in good shape. Have you been in there the whole time? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you got the air on? Yeah. Is anything missing? What Is anything missing? No, I wasn't looking. <laughs> So now at this point, I'm just making sure that my connections aren't hanging too low. Now I'm gonna put in my hooks. All good. Now let's make sure that our lights are working. Uh, as you can see, we're good to go. So, I'm going to take off. Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking the Red Pill and Survival. Take care, stay safe. All you truck drivers out there, new and veteran. See you on the road.